Hey guys, I hope you like that small solve compilation. In this video, I'll be showing you how I went from averaging 1.5 minutes to 50 seconds in just around 7 months. So how exactly did I achieve sub 50 so fast? Although you might not like it, the answer is pretty simple. Practice. But wait, don't leave yet. The way you practice, especially for Mega Minx, is really important to determining how fast to improve. Although the best way to practice might be different for different people, personally I found the best way to practice was to alternate between doing slow solves and timed solves. And I don't mean just doing one slow solve and then one timed solve and then repeating that. I would usually do slow solves for a few days, and then I'd do timed solves for a few days to implement what I'd learned in slow solves. Be sure to check out this video on how to do slow solves the right way. Link will be in the description. It's also worth mentioning something that some people forget. Make sure that you're actually implementing the things that you learn from your slow solves into your timed ones. If you don't, the slow solves were just a waste of your time and you didn't learn anything from them or get any better. I can't stress this point enough, make sure you're actually using the things that you learn. But surely, practice isn't the only thing that made you fast, right? Although I did practice a lot, I also watched some example videos. Example videos are really important because you can always learn ways to solve F2L or S2L cases that you might have never thought of in a slow solve of your own. Learning from the best Mega Minxers is definitely a solid way to make you better. I have some example solve videos on my channel as well, which are down in the description. So what are your tips for improving at Mega Minx? If you have any good ideas, leave them down in the comments below so everyone can learn from them. And as always, thanks for watching and goodbye.